So part of Weaver's mission is to really bring VR to as broad and mass audience as possible. We were actually out looking for immersive experiences and I ended up seeing the blue and it was like perfect. And we thought, wow, if we could bring out some of our specimens and augment that with this beautiful underwater experience, it would be amazing. There's also a bit of a mystique with museums being associated with high art or high science or culture and they're inspirational. And so in that respect, having the blue associated with, with the Natural History Museum is, is a perfect, wonderful fit for us. Basically, before we opened the blue, we actually tested it for uh, a week with visitors. I mean, all the, res all the tally results that came back were like, wow. Um, from the virtual reality side, you know, we thought that the opportunity of bringing something into a temporary space and actually using that in a very pop-up manner, something that's nimble, something that's very collaborative with the teams, and something that, you know, from the Weaver content could very much relate to the exhibit itself, would be a perfect opportunity to bring this to life. We have five actual um, stations, which we call pods, and we can bring people through every 10 minutes. I think we're looking at maybe 150 people a day. People may come because of this experience that never thought to come to the Natural History Museum, or maybe they come here, no idea that this is going on, and then this changes their perception of the museum, that they didn't know they could come here and have that kind of an experience. Everybody in the museum's been doing the experience, so they're, now they're, they bought, they drank the Kool-Aid, they're in on the VR, so it's really fun.